Today, John Lurie and Jim Jarmusch hunt for the most dangerous creature in the sea, the shark. So what are the great fish movies, uh, Jaws? Why am I here? And then when the shark comes up, when you see the shark, just let go. Having destroyed their car, John Lurie and Tom Waits must now travel across the island by canoe. Do you know the story about the ant and the cow? And the cow thought it had a certain amount of territory, right, where it lived? Cowfish? No, cow, real cow. Oh, cow. And then there was an ant <laughs> that lived in another spot that was right in the middle of the cow's territory. Yeah. But the cow didn't even know that the ant was there. That's fascinating, John. You want me to do it? Yeah, why don't you do it? He's already looked at me. I can't do it now. We have a relationship. I got to ask you something, John. Yeah. Have you ever caught a fish before? Should I put him in my pants? <laughs> That's what I've usually done in the past when I've been depressed. Okay. So. John Lurie and Matt Dillon take an unregistered prop plane to the remote jungle regions of Costa Rica. One, two, three, and then up and up. Like your arms are running, but your feet are, like your feet are kind of prancing. And then one, two, three, up. You know that it's raining? Having gathered local debris, John Lurie and Willem Dafoe construct a shelter to protect themselves against the severe elements. You know what? I get kind of sweet when it comes to bedtime. Day three, after a night's sleep on the frozen lake, a game of catch improves the circulation. Cheese on cheese. Cheese on cheese. Oh. <laughs> the situation is growing serious. John and Willem have consumed only melted snow since their supply of cheese crackers ran out two days ago. On January 19th, John Lurie and Willem Dafoe died of starvation. I made a mistake. John is still alive. John and Dennis are united. John has not seen Dennis since he was a little boy. Out of politeness and for old time's sake, John and Dennis pretend to hear one another, but the roar of the engine makes communication all but impossible. It is believed that the giant squid has the power to hypnotize most mammals. John and Dennis have borrowed a boat from the squid mocks, unfortunately, without asking their permission. Do you think I should have, like, little sections of the bone in my leg removed so my legs aren't so long? Yeah. John and Dennis have been hypnotized. Life is still beautiful. 